Hi guys, thanks for joining me again for this week's video. This is actually my fourth attempt to record this because I wasn't happy with the other ones. So hopefully I'm uh, going to get it right. <laughs> um, so guys, what I want to do is just talk about a, a complaint I hear all the time, okay? And I've heard it a few times this week um, of a few different people whose, whose wives and husbands in particular were going to different gyms than here and um, they weren't happy with the service, okay? And I hear people on about um, you know, going to the local leisure centres, they're not happy, they don't have motivated staff in, in there to support them, they're not knowledgeable staff, the equipment is always broken, um, you know, they don't, they're not getting results, all that kind of stuff. And guys, I say the same thing to all of them. If you're paying 30 or 40 euro for a gym membership, okay, and you're sharing that gym membership with five, six, seven hundred other people, um, that is exactly what you need to um, to expect, okay? Because if you pay for something, if you if you pay a cheap rate for something, guys, and um, you you get a cheap product in return. And I, I one particular person was saying that their 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 spouse was paying sixteen euro for personal training, and she really wasn't happy with what she was getting, guys. Um, you get chips and a burger and a DVD, maybe a can of Coke for from the sixteen euro. You will not get a professional service, so don't. So you can't expect it, okay? No matter what people promise you, what, what, what they say, you know, you will not get a professional service um, for for that, okay? Just doesn't happen, guys. So demotivated staff. That's what you get when you pay um, a cheap a cheaper rate, okay? Um, broken equipment. That's part of the deal as well, guys. Um, if, if, if they're charging you very little money, and it doesn't have to, I don't, I don't, I'm not about that you should all be paying an extortion amount of money, but a decent amount of money for a professional service. If they're, if they're not paying you a decent rate, um, then they're not going to have money to put back into um, their facility. So recently um, I saw a, um, a facility had up a, a picture of a barbell and someone had broken it, okay, one of their clients, and they were, they were giving out about their client breaking it. Um, but the, the reality, guys, is that 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 barbell, those barbells are worth between 120 and 140 euro. Okay, we've got bars that barbells that look the same, but they cost 800 euro each. And the cheapest barbell we have in our gym costs 500 euro. Okay, big difference, much safer, won't break. Um, so again, guys, that 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 is perfect. If you want better equipment and things not to be broken, you need you need to get to a better facility. Okay, and better facility guys do charge a bit more. Okay, but then they give you a better service in return. So another thing guys is that I, I, I've heard people that say that these facilities tend to cut corners, okay? And they do cut corners because um they they don't they, they charge cheap money, cheap, cheap rates, they need to get a lot of people through the doors um to, to make up the to, to cover their overheads. So if they've got if, if you go to a facility you've got between a facility that's got between fifty and one hundred people and another facility has got seven hundred people, obviously that 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 700 people is going to dilute the service that you get, okay? But then again, that's what you get for the, for the cheap membership that, that you're paying, okay? And you need to you need to understand and accept that. So, um, the way these places usually cut corners, guys, is um, affects your head. So they, they don't do good assessments, they don't educate their staff, as I say, they get say, uh, cheap, unsafe equipment, they don't, um, they don't you know, follow up with your physiotherapist, all that kind of stuff. And a good facility you will do that. They they they'll actually put the, they have the foundations in place to follow up and actually support you, motivate you, and um, educate their staff so that you get better programs. And I'm, I'm going to show you a quick example. So a client comes into our facility, guys, and we've got a database of injuries, okay? Of injuries, medical conditions, medications. So um, if someone comes in with a very popular one, um, diastasis recti abdominis, which is a splitting of the, the muscles in the, in, in the tummy, in, 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 in the abdomen region. And if someone comes in with that, with the database here that our coaches can look at and say, right, I need to take this into consideration for this client. I need to contact our physio because we're not medical professionals, okay, we're fitness professionals. And I, I need to review all this information and then I need to implement that into the Pro, into the coach's program or the client's program to give them the result that they want. Okay, so another example is um, 
like osteoarthritis, pubis, a lot of our athletes come in with this. So again, we need to understand what it is. Our coach needs to be able to review um, the condition. Then they need to be able to contact the physio, which all takes time, there's a lot of work. And then we can give that client um, the, 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 the best program possible. We'll get them to the results safely and effectively. Okay? Um, so we also have a, a database of medications. So if someone comes in to us, guys, oh. so if someone comes in to us and they're on medication, we can find out how that medication affects them and what considerations from a training point of view we need, we need to take. We need to work with the doctor, um, and we need to be able to advise the client on, you know, on the, the impact that this medication can have on our training. So you might sweat more than, than other people. You might get out of breath more, um, and obviously they're, they're, we're not medical professionals, so this is just for general information. But we always refer to a doctor. Okay. So guys, that the what you need to do. So we've, we've a list of them guys that we're always adding to, like you know. And just recently, we had a client actually um, come off of the medication, and she was very happy with that. Oops, said David. So we, she was very happy with that. So guys, cheap facilities, cut corners, and facilities that charge you a bit more should be covering all bases. And guys, because these facilities cut corners, they do it to get you a fast result. So that they often ignore. Um, the medications, the injuries, and stuff that you have in our kit with fast result. Okay, so um, that and that's a really bad approach for, for any, any any facility to take. That's today's lesson, guys. Um, find a good facility and get 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 fit. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong place. Find a good facility, get fit, get healthy, and um, and never look back. So, guys, let's go train. Nice and solid now, chest to the fingertips, and off we go. Okay, hips a bit lower now for me. That's it. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, come on. Easy. Try not swing the legs too much. Very good. So I'm gonna go for a couple more there now. Try. Five. Two or three more. All the way. Six. Excellent.
And again. All the way. And one more. All the way. You're there. Finish. Elbow strong. Excellent, Susan. Excellent. Hang first now. All the way. You're there. You're there. Oh. Susan, that's too easy. Too easy. Thank you. 